Hi, <clears throat> Sensei 111 coming to you from upstate South Carolina. I had some inquiries about how I fixed my uh, safety bolt hole, hold open uh, notch shown on my Yugo AKM 47 OPAT review. And I thought I would do a short video on it. I did this so I could comply with my local range safety rules related to having the firearms bolt in a locked open condition when not on the firing line. First, let me safety check the rifle. Nothing in the chamber, no magazine, no, no ammo. And I must warn you that this video is for educational purposes only and I'm in no way responsible for what you might do to your firearm or any issues that might arise from modifications you conduct as a result of viewing this video. If you don't feel 100% confident in doing this, please take it to a competent gunsmith or purchase one of the available safety notch levers on the market. Now that I have all the safety and legal stuff out of the way, let me show you how I did this. First I'll show you how it works, then I'll show you how to mark it for proper location and cutting, and I'll take it off the rifle and show you, how to show you how to cut the notch with the rotary tool. First off, if you have true Yugo magazines or you've modified magazines to hold open on the last round, you might think you want the notch to coincide with that location, but there's two issues with that plan. One, it'll be too far forward and the notch will likely be too far forward on the lever and weaken it. Two, it'll make exchanging magazines difficult and the bolt won't be behind the round in a fresh magazine. You really want a little gap between the bolt and the fresh round to make sure it chambers solidly. So here's how mine works uh, with and without the mag hold open. So if I let the safety lever off, the uh, round displacement hump catches it. Of course, if I take the bag out, it goes to battery. So if you pull it back, one motion you can lock it open. Take the mag out. Still no round. Now, <clears throat> before you take off your safety lever, you need to mark where the notch and the lever should go. On my particular rifle, I have a rubber recoil pad so that the charging lever doesn't go all the way back. Uh, so the aftermarket safety levers may not fit a particular location. I find mine is a little bit more forward than most. Several, most of them I've seen are notched somewhere around here, and that won't work on my weapon. Uh, particularly to have the advantage of the self-release feature that when you pull it back, pushes the safety lever down and goes to battery. So you want to take a sharp sharpie, and this may be tough to do, and pull the charging lever all the way back as far as it'll go, and that's as far as it'll go in mine, and then you want to make a mark on the dust cover where the front of the charging lever is. That's actually going to be the back of the notch. And then you want to measure how wide your safety lever is and measure from here and put another notch. This is approximate, like so. And let it get forward. Put your notch up. And you're going to transfer the marks. Again, this hole wouldn't be here. We'll transfer the marks there. And then the bottom of it should be even with the rail. You can eyeball that, draw a line there. And then where this line and that line intersect, draw a 40, approximately 45 degree line back. And this is the material you're going to take out. Also, you notice there's a slight negative uh, chamfer here. If you have it dead straight or you get it slightly positive, the charging lever will just skip off of there. So you want a good hook on that safety lever. So that's how you mark it. I'm going to stop the video and take the lever off and show you how to cut it. <clears throat> Alright, now you're ready to cut. Obviously this one is already cut, so I'll kind of full demonstrate this. You want to lock your lever in a suitable vise and have a way to steady your hand on it. You want to use a rotary tool with a cutoff wheel and you're going to go down and cut first cut and come back cut the 45 cut. Then you're going to cut the bottom of the 
notch from this side and then lining up the two cuts from the back coming from the back and then obviously you don't want to cut completely through because you'll overcut the bottom once you get both sides uh, milled out with the rotary tool you can actually bend this back and forth and the tab will come right out then you want to put some kind of a grinding tool or polishing bit I like these rubber um, abrasive embedded wheels and smooth out any burrs that you leave on there and leave that it tool in your rotary tool in case you need to make adjustments. Of course this one's obviously adjusted already. Once you get it adjusted and it's functioning as you want it, then you want to blue the cut area with some bluing compound or one of those bluing pins and you're ready to uh, install it on your weapon and put it to good use. So please uh, like, comment, and share this video and I'll try to make some more. Thanks.